Hello everyone, this is my water harvesting system, IBC food grade totes. Um, each one of them is about 275 gallons, so two of them is 550 gallons. Uh, a lot of water there, um, about 4,000 pounds of water. Um, you know, I collect the water from the roofs of the house in in two two-inch uh, PVC pipes, then I feed it into the top one, and the top one feeds it to the lower one, and then once the lower one is filled, um, then the second one, the top one, starts to fill up. I will show you a schematic diagram, schematic diagram at the end of this video how to actually build water harvesting system. Um, you may need a, a friend to help you to build it, especially to put the top one on the bottom one. Uh, you can buy those, it's called the TOTE, T-O-T-E-S, uh, or IBC, I think. And you can buy those uh, on Craigslist. They, are, they can go for about $50, $75, sometimes $100, but you can find, uh, you can find it for $50. Um, but when you buy one, buy one like food grade, you know, do not buy one that used to transfer chemicals or anything like that. Uh, once you buy one, you probably have to wash it with soap and water a couple of times and shake it a couple of times and so on. You need to wrap it so that uh, when, when the sun hits it, 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 prevents, it prevents algae from uh, growing inside the tote itself. As I mentioned, each one of them is 275 gallons. So those two on top of each other actually can weigh um, about 4,000 pounds, if my calculations are correct. So for the base, you need a very good base. As you can see here, I put about six inches of gravel to be able to hold the weight. And then on top of this, I put uh, some center blocks as you can see if you have a uh, soft topsoil probably you have to dig more than six inches just to be in the safe side because the last thing you want is that this whole heavy full of water system tips over your house or tips over to one side and it's going to be really a mess um, to build this, as you can see, I can I get the water here. I couldn't find a better connector between uh, the gutters and the two-inch pipe. As you can see, this two-inch pipe feeds into another two-inch pipe that's coming from another side of the house. And both of them actually go, and I don't know if we can see here, both of them go meet here, and they go down this guy here all the way this is about three and a half inches and this as you can see i can open it and close it if i need to this basically is you know uh, first of all so the water comes from the roofs and go inside this pipe um, so that if there's any dirt on the roof or something like this they just stay down here um, then as it, you know if it's closed that's great then the water starts flooding all the way up, feeds through this pipe now into back to the tote and it starts filling the tote, the one all the way, this one and this one feeds through this one down here. Now most of the piping and the accessory for the piping you can buy it from Home Depot, Menards, or Lowe's, but you can't find one connector, which is the connector from the tote itself to the pipes, and this is known as the banjo. Okay, the banjo, as you can see, I don't know, it's upside down, I hope you can see it, but it connects this, the tote, to the pipe okay and you can find it at uh, Granger and um, it's a two inch banjo
Now, if it rains too much and both of the totes start to flood, then I have another two inch, um, as you can see this one, is another two inch pipe, PVC pipe, then I connect it all the way down here, as you can see, and it actually gets the water away. There it is. So between the two totes, as you can see, there is a two inch PVC pipe that is coming from the lid of the bottom one. And this one goes all the way around this way and it actually gets the air out. But when you want to uh, put this pipe, you want to make sure that it doesn't get squished by the totes when they are full of water because they really get swollen and once they get swollen they actually put a lot of pressure on the coupling and uh, uh, elbow here and they probably will crush it and it will leak so the way to prevent this from happening is putting by or actually six by two uh, a few of them I stack them on top of each other to separate the two totes from each other. Um, another way you can do is probably is to put actually, um, um, you know, some kind of like a pedestal between the two of them so that you can raise them above each other uh, by about like uh, a few inches. Uh, but um, I did it this way and it's working fine. Um, this is the schematic diagram that I was talking about at the beginning of uh, the video. So the water comes down from the roof this way and from another uh, um, uh, side of the house this way and it goes down, moves this way and moves this way. Then both of them meet at some point and the water goes all the way down and fills up this kind of like I think it's four inches I don't remember if it's three and a half or four inches um, so four inch PVC pipe and it fills up all the way up once the water starts flooding it goes now up here all the way and then now starts feeding into uh, the tote from the top uh, through a two inch PVC pipe then as the water fills down goes down here then it starts going through um, a connector uh, a banjo connector which is which looks like this banjo connector and uh, into a two inch PVC pipe then a T pipe here and it goes water continues its journey all the way down and now goes and starts filling this guy and to fill this guy, probably you have to get the air out. So the air goes in a two inch PVC pipe out through here, all the way out. And you want to make this, make sure that you make this um, above both the, the level of these two stacked on top of each other. Uh, so air gets out here. You want to probably close at the end of this by a mesh to let the air out but prevent uh, rodents and insects from going in. Um, you also want to uh, protect, as I mentioned in my video, you want to protect this uh, area of the PVC pipe from getting crushed by the two totes by putting uh, two by sixes, you know, stacked on top of each other between the two totes. Uh, so as the air goes out, this starts getting filled up. If this gets filled up, then the water that's coming from the top now stops going down and starts filling up this guy. If you have enough rain and this gets filled up, now the rain or the water is going to start flooding all the way up. So all the water coming from here, instead of going this way, it's going to go up this way and then the overflow of the water goes all the way down down here and you can dump it away from the the house or the 
uh, your property. So why why do we need this first? So the water needs to come from the roof all the way here, here. We need this just to, because the water carries with it some dirt from the roof, especially in the first rain. So basically you can actually get that here and once it's filled up, the water starts going up without carrying the dirt with it. This area here, you can open it up um, and then clean it, you know, maybe every month or every, you know, it depends how, how much dirt you, you collect, then you can clean it up. Uh, uh, one more thing I want to mention is that if your tote outlet is looking like this, this means that you need a banjo, like, you know, and the banjo, you can find it, um, as I said, at uh, a Granger store. Maybe you can find it at Amazon. I'm not sure about this. Uh, the top of each tote should look like this. This is, I think, this is at least four inches or a little bit more. But this ending here that you can open it up, it's a threaded two inch. So that's how you start connecting um, um, the pipes from the top of each tote uh, to a two inch two inch um, uh, PVC and it's a threaded one. As I said, I hope this helps. Thank you very much for watching.